Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I'm Joanna and in this video I've got something really exciting to show you and we'll be unboxing and testing out these brand new slime kits from banggood.com. So these contain absolutely everything you need to make slime, including borax, and they actually ship worldwide. So if you live in a country where you can't get any borax, then this might just be the perfect thing to try out. If you're new here, then a big welcome and please remember to subscribe to Macaroon because this channel is also so close to 1 million subscribers. So I got two different kits and one of them is slightly larger than the other one. So you get more stuff to make more slime with. Both of these are really affordable. I think the small one is about $13, the big one is about $25 and it's incredible value considering how much stuff you actually get in here. So now let's get started and open this up. So the first thing I see is that you get a ton of PVA glue. So even though the packaging is quite basic, the stuff inside is in perfect condition. So as you can see, the glue looks brand new. None of them have leaked or um, got squashed or anything. So first of all, you'll get six tubes of clear PVA glue. And then you also get two small containers of white PVA glue. I think it's really cool that they decided to include a lot more clear PVA glue than white PVA glue because white craft glue is super easy to get in almost any country. So this is something that you can easily buy yourself wherever you live. However, clear PVA glue is a lot harder to find. And then you get a glitter palette. So this contains 12 different glitters that you can add to your clear slime. I'm really impressed at how cute the packaging is because, you know, they could have just as well put this into tiny plastic bags. But instead, each one actually comes in a little pot and you can reuse these for lip balm or other DIY projects after you're done. So the next thing you get is a ton of food coloring. I think this is incredible because this will actually last you years and you can use this for so many other craft projects as well. So the labels are written in Chinese and it's actually one of the few Chinese words I can actually read. So this one says it's black. So here are all the colors you could possibly use for making slime. So now you get some mixing tools, which is a pipette and two little spoons. How cute are these tiny spoons? So now you also get two measuring cups and some safety gloves. I actually think it's really cool that they even decided to include gloves because if you make a lot of slime, then it's not a good idea to expose yourself to too much borax. So by wearing these, you'll be perfectly safe. So you also get two measuring cups and these are so convenient because they have the measurements written on the sides. And lastly, you get 10 slime containers all full of borax. <laughs> So based on the pictures on the website, I actually thought that you get empty slime containers and maybe a very small packet of borax, but all of these are literally filled with borax. And this is way too much for you to use on one slime project. So just keep the borax and it will last you for years. So I would totally recommend um, taking the borax and putting it into a different container because these little pots are actually really good for storing slime. And now let's make some slime. I'm following the instructions from the Banggood website, which I'll show you on screen as well. This method looks quite different to the usual glue slime process, so I'm really curious to see how it goes. First, it tells you to mix one spoonful of borax with warm water using the 30 milliliter cup. I'm not sure if they mean the entire cup or just the amount shown on the photo. Since the photo looks like half a cup with one spoonful of borax, I decided to add one and a half spoonfuls for one whole cup. Now you're supposed to mix glue and water in a ratio of 2 to 5, which means 40% glue and 60% water. This sounds like quite a lot of water since the most I'd ever use for my own slimes is 50-50. And after having completed this whole DIY, I think this was actually a wording error and you're supposed to use 60% glue and 40% water. That would definitely create a perfect base for clear slime. After mixing everything thoroughly, you can add some food coloring. 
You only need one drop to create a very nice tint. Next, you're supposed to pour the borax solution inside and let everything sit for 30 seconds. I just couldn't resist sticking the spoon inside right away, and I was so surprised to see there was actually crystal clear slime coming together. I was so excited that I tried playing with it immediately, however I realized that the slime is still a bit too sticky to handle. I think you really need to let it sit for a while so the borax has time to react with the PVA. This is how it looks after a few minutes, and it's noticeably firmer. This looks exactly like a store-bought crystal slime, and it doesn't turn cloudy as quickly as homemade DIY slimes. It's got a really jiggly and bouncy texture. The only drawback is that it's not as stretchy as I'd imagined. I was really hoping for something like the crystal jelly slime from this video here. This slime felt slightly overactivated, so I decided to remake the whole recipe using less borax. This time, I started with half a cup of borax solution, just like the instruction photo. I also used less glue this time, about half a tube, which is similar to the instructions. Then I added some water, and unfortunately I think I made a mistake here and used too much. You should always add more glue than water instead of the other way around. Now stir everything together and add food coloring. This time I poured the borax solution inside and made sure that I didn't touch the mixture at all. After several minutes, you can start lifting the slime out, and this really was just as satisfying as it looks on camera. This version is definitely softer than the first one, however it ended up being a bit too slippery. I think it's because I added too much water and maybe not enough borax. The thing I like about this kit is that it gives you everything you need, but you still need to do a bit of experimenting to get the perfect recipe. So here you can see a comparison of the two slimes. I think it's amazing that you get instant clear slime and don't have to wait for days for the bubbles to clear. Using borax also works better than the baking soda method from this video here. I'd love to remake this recipe until I find the best ratio of glue and water so it creates a perfectly stretchy crystal jelly slime. And finally, I decided to test out some of the glitter that came with the kit. Mixing glitter isn't as satisfying as it could be, because both of these slimes don't stretch very well. I tried making a minty green and a pumpkin spice slime, as you can see here. I'm sure that with a bit of practice, you can make some incredible things using this kit. The kit costs $24 with my discount code, and you can make at least 10 slimes with it. If you sell each one for 4 or $5, then it's already paid for itself and even made a profit. Not to mention the fact that things like borax, food coloring, and mixing tools can be reused for a long time in future projects. So my final verdict is that this kit is definitely a great buy. The most popular request under my 1 million subscriber giveaway was slime supplies, and here you can literally get everything at once. I'll be reviewing more slime kits and slime shops leading up to Christmas, so please subscribe if you don't want to miss out. This is Joanna, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.